guys! So today I thought we would make a video showing how we trim our cat's nails because they're pretty good at it now, even though they didn't used to be. I'm pretty sure a couple years ago I tweeted a picture of Haku where I like burrito rolled him up into a blanket so that I could trim his nails. And I was like, this is how we have to trim our cat's nails. Uh, but we don't have to do that anymore. They've gotten pretty used to it. I think one of the things that changed was they've all grown up a little bit. So back then Haku was a little kitten and kittens don't ever want to sit still, you know. They Oh, he's, he's had enough. Okay, you can sit like this for a minute. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Alright, kittens don't ever want to sit still. They don't ever want to be picked up or held. So that's always an issue with kittens. But as they've gotten older, they've gotten a little bit better at um, me just handling them. And the second thing is, we've learned how to hold our cats to trim their nails easily. Which is basically sitting them on our lap like this. You sit them on your lap like this, and then you take clippers. Um, you can buy cat clippers. I just use regular nail clippers. We had cat clippers, but I like this better. I think all that matters is that it's a clipper that cuts quickly, because cats are not huge fans. So if I support his paw, and then I grab one of his little digits here, and I press gently on it, his nails will come out so that I can grab them and trim them. This is about two weeks worth of nail growth for him. Usually I try to trim their nails. Usually I try to trim their nails every two-ish weeks because if we don't trim their nails then they scratch us <laughs> and they destroy our stuff. Usually I can tell they're getting along when they accidentally scratch us and it really hurts. <laughs> so look, you can see the length of this nail. He's due. You're due for nail clipping, buddy. So you just want to get in and you want to clip, but leave a fair amount of space between, um, away from the pink part. You just don't ever want to touch the pink part because that's what hurts them. And so if you get close to that, then they might hate it and then they'll be really, really averse to ever getting their nails trimmed. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. He's giving me a bath. Uh, cats on their front paws also have their little thumb way back here, so don't forget about their little thumb. Boy, give me a minute, boy. Okay. <laughs> He's being so good. You're being such a good boy. And honestly, we just don't have any issues anymore. Uh, I've tried giving them treats in the past. I only did it like once or twice when I was trying to get them used to this way of nail clipping. And we don't even have to give them treats anymore. They just they mostly, they just understand this is a thing they have to go through. <laughs> Good job! Good job, buddy! You did such a good job! Right. Until we started filming, we held Pokey for a while, so he yeah. was a little bit impatient, but he normally is better than this. Oh, he's, he's doing good too. <laughs> oh, little baby. I think I trimmed his nails more recently, so his might not be as long. Look at this, look at this tail. You make it so difficult, baby. Yeah, his nails, I trimmed a little more recently. But I can trim them again. Yeah, sweetie. He, his fur is too long, I can see his nail. I can't. <laughs> yes. Too fluffy, too really much hair. Are you gonna rest your head on my hand? Oh no, he's doing it. Nagi is just a little sweetheart and he rests his head on my arm while I do this. Did I get this paw yet? <laughs> he is just like a, such a sweet little ball of fur. Hey Nagi, you're so precious. I know, I know you don't, I know, hang on. Almost done. Now I just gotta do your little pizzies. Good job! Good job, baby! And now it's Haku's turn. I've also found it's easier to trim their nails if they're sleepy because you could trick them. 
They don't know what's going on yet. <laughs> You're so heavy. Wow. Hi, big boy. Hey, big buddy. Aww. His nails aren't quite as long yet either. <laughs> I know you don't like it. You're such a good boy, Haku. You're being such a good boy. <laughs> Aren't they so good? Posse is sleepy. <laughs> Good job! Good job, buddy! Good job! Oh, he doesn't care. Now he's just sleepy. You going back to sleep, baby? Yeah. You did a good job. See? So, they all do pretty good now. How are you feeling, buddy? But your fur is just all... Oh my god, look at this. It's everywhere now. I just brushed you. I spent all morning brushing you. I brushed you so much. What is going on? He just keeps happening until he's done shitting, which doesn't happen. You not want to move? Are you good? Just like this? Thank you. So this is how we trim my cat's nails. I think it's a pretty good method. You can also give them treats every time you clip a nail. Uh, just make sure you don't clip anywhere close to the pink part because that's what hurts them and then then they really hate it after that. I think they're doing great now. Yeah. Yeah, you guys are doing so good, buddy. It used to be like crazy yeah. about it. They hated it so bad. Well, they were little kitties too. They're crazy about everything. <laughs> Wasn't you guys? If you guys have any other tips for trimming nails that you would like to share in the comments, just in case this doesn't work for some people, please do that. Please share your cat nail trimming tips with all of us. Yeah, buddy. Wow, we have so many cats in this video. <laughs> Maggie, you're so cute. Look at you. Look at you, little baby. Aww. You were playing with toys? Yeah? <laughs> okay, we're gonna play with Nagi and we'll see you guys later. Thank you for watching. Bye! Bye. He's so cute. They're all looking at the toy now. <laughs>